Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 amazing and scary changes caught on camera. So, things are changing all the time in the world, but there are some changes which scare scientists. Some of these are natural and others are man-made. So, here are some very, very worrying changes in the world caught on camera. Before we get into it, why not turn that red subscribe button grey by pressing it and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have California Lakes. If you live in California, you'll know there's a lot of drought there. California has a massive issue with its water drying up. There's a whole lot of sun, but really not much water. But you may be wondering how bad really is the California drought. Maybe people are making a way bigger deal out of it than it really is. We'll check out this photo taken of the Enterprise Bridge over Lake Oroville in 2011. It looks very nice, scenic, and filled with water. But check out this picture taken just three years later in 2014. As you can see, the entire lake seems to have totally dried up. Remember, this was in 2014 and things have not got much better. It's absolutely crazy how three years can drain this entire lake. The California drought does rage on. And these images are just a few which are really scaring scientists in California right now. Next up we have air pollution. So in a way, this is actually a pretty good one. The first image was scaring scientists, but this time we've done something about it. This image was taken in 2005 by NASA and it's from a satellite. The more red the area is, the more air pollution there is. However, if you take a look at this image, six years later in 2011, there's been massive improvements. The levels of nitrogen dioxide pollution from cars and power plants have gone down a lot. This is because the US government has put in many environmental reform packages. They've shifted more from coal to natural gas. And as you can see by this NASA map, it's made a big change. As you can see, some coastal areas do still rely on coal gas. But many have shifted to natural gas and this really does help the environment. With all the scary changes caught on camera in the world, it's nice to have a good one for once. Next up is drying lakes. So we've already seen California lakes drying up. But the issue is even worse in countries like Bolivia. If you look at this satellite image of Pupo Lake in Bolivia taken in 2013, it looks really nice. It's massive and very blue. But just three years later, you can see this lake is pretty much totally dried up. Now, this isn't just a bad sign for the environment, it's bad for the people of Bolivia. Pupo Lake was essential for mining and agriculture. It's also one of the largest fishing lakes in the country. It's amazing it took just three years for this lake to totally evaporate. Now they have a tough time with mining and agriculture. And as you can imagine, there's not many fish left in this lake. This is actually the second time Pupo Lake has dried up. It dried up before in 1994 and it took years for the water to return. This majorly disrupted the ecosystem of the area. And of course many industries like fishing, agriculture and mining were wiped out by this. Sadly this is now happening again and it's crazy it only took 3 years for it to go from this to this. But it takes a lot longer than 3 years for this water to come back. Next up is Irma Damage. I'm sure you remember Hurricane Irma, which went on for about 14 days in the summer of 2017. It was one of the strongest hurricanes in the Atlantic region of all time, and it majorly affected areas like Florida, Puerto Rico, and Cuba. But one of the most stunning before and after images comes from the British Virgin Islands. Just days before Hurricane Irma hit, someone took a picture of Ivan's stress-free bar. This is a resort and bar which is very popular in the BVI. Then days later from that very same angle, someone took a very different image. It's crazy to think this is a before and after image as the two areas look totally different. As you can see only one of the huts remains from the resort. The entire place was totally destroyed and it's most certainly no longer a stress-free bar. These images really show the immense power Mother Nature has. It's scary that one day you could be in a tropical paradise and the next in a complete wasteland. Next up is Dubai. In the 1980s, if you told someone you were going to Dubai, they'd probably say, where? That is because back then, no one went to Dubai unless they were working in the oil industry. But it is that exact same industry that has made Dubai into what it is today. Nowadays, people go to Dubai to see the amazing, massive buildings and deserts. It's the shopping capital of the Middle East. And many of the world's richest people reside in Dubai. There are thousands who have made their billions in oil and gas. 
And more recently, in real estate, as it seems everyone wants a piece of Dubai. The most staggering thing is looking at this image of Dubai from the 1980s. It's hard to believe that this is the same road. And as you can see, those first three tower blocks are still there. However, they are now dwarfed by the massive buildings in Dubai. We all know Dubai is home to the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. And now many people likely don't even pay any attention to these three skyscrapers. However, anyone who went there in the 1980s will know they were some of the first buildings ever made in Dubai. These images are impressive, but many are now worried. Dubai spent all this money becoming a luxury location in the world. But because they're so reliant on oil and gas which is running out, they're now wondering how will they fund all of their extravagance. Mohammed bin Salman is working on something called Vision 2030. This aims to diversify the UAE from not just relying on oil and gas, but many scientists in the UAE are worried. Next up we have man-made river. So we hear the phrase playing God thrown around all the time. But what could sum up that phrase better than making a man-made river? Well, that is exactly what the Libyan government did in the 1980s. They actually began this project in the late 80s and finished it in the 2000s. It's known as the world's largest irrigation project ever and is called the Great Man-Made River. And as you can see from these NASA satellite images, it's quite the amazing feat. But they didn't just do this for no reason, they actually did it for a very good reason. They did this to boost the agricultural growth in the region. They simply didn't have enough water for their farming industry, so they had to make this man-made river. And while some scientists were scared and had their doubts, many say this is a good thing. It has improved the lives of the Libyan people and has improved the Libyan economy. And the before and after images really are pretty stunning. Next up is man-made islands. So this is yet another one coming from Dubai. It seems that in Dubai if they have a vision, they make it in real life. By the early 2000s, Dubai already had conquered tourism. They were getting many, many tourists and they were very happy with that. But one thing they weren't seeing a lot of was beach tourism. People were flocking to the city but not going to the beach. So in an effort to promote beach tourism, they made some artificial islands. These islands going across the coast are 2.5 million square feet in total. And they're world famous now for their interesting shape, which is palm trees. This is a reference to the many palm trees planted on the islands. In this amazing NASA satellite imagery, you can see the before and after of the artificial islands. The first image was taken in 2000 and the other image was taken in 2011. It's crazy that in just 11 years, they've had all these changes. And I am not just talking about the artificial islands, check out the land too. So many areas of barren desert have now been replaced by big city buildings. Some scientists were worried about these islands, saying they may sink into the sea. The Dubai architects reassured that they would not be sinking into the sea. But when you start building islands, who knows what could happen. Next up is melting glaciers. In case you're not, it's a ginormous mountain located on the border between Switzerland and Italy. You may recognize the name Matterhorn from the Disneyland ride which has taken a few lives before. But today Matterhorn Mountain is a very popular Swiss ski resort. However, scientists and the ski resort company are very very scared about this mountain. That is because it's losing a lot of snow very rapidly. Check out this photo taken in August of 1960. As you can see, snow covers the glacier. But in this image taken in August of 2005, things are very different. Much of the snow is actually melted off the mountain. And many scientists fear that within 20 years, all the snow will be gone. That means no more skiing on this mountain. And it also means other large issues for the world as a whole. NASA and other scientists are very worried about these glaciers. But the question I have is, are you? Are you concerned or are you not? Let me know in the comments what you think about this image and all the others. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most mind-blowing before and after image on this list. I think it's the one of the Dubai cities, I can't believe how many changes they've had. If you guys want more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.